My fellow viewers, uh, so the new Warden Tower, you know, I made a video on it and stuff. I didn't really meme about this, but uh, after taking a closer look, I just realized that how pretty much similar it looks to the Tower Battles uh, version, the Enforcer. So there was some controversy regarding this tower because, well, at max level, it pretty much is the same exact thing. It even stuns and does certain uh, upgrades like that, so... That's why I kind of agree with that statement. But I'm gonna see which one is uh, better. These are the towers I'm allowed to use. I'm playing on Molten Mode, which is, I guess, intermediate. Tower Brawls doesn't have any game modes, which kind of sucks. Th uh, that's why the game is dead. I guess I'll be trying my best to make sure that it's fair for these uh, towers. Wave two warning, going pretty smooth so far. No problems at all. Wave three, I missed one zombie, but that's okay. Wave four, I missed another one. That's okay. Speedy's finally spawning on wave 5. No problem. <clears> there <throat> are the other ways. I basically just missed one zombie. On wave 7, we got these slows finally spawning in. Um, I should be okay. Because these will still one-shot the slows on level 1. Wave 9, I'm going to prepare for the uh, boss by upgrading my warden. And place down a second one. Wave 10, I got the boss. Place down a third warden. Upgrading that one. We should be fine. I can now finally... Uh, Stun zombies for no part, and yeah, it gets pawned. <laughs> two normal bosses on wave 12, they get beat down pretty hard, just like the police do in real life to a innocent young man. Wave 13, there's now uh, hidden zombies. The thing is that Enforcer, I mean, Warden has stealth detection, so that's not an issue for us. Oh, I already kept my farms. Well, <laughs> that sucks. It's okay, though, I already I'm already starting to max on my farms. Oh, yes, yeah, so waves to seeing. Mystery zombies, just like in Tower Balls. I'm not sure this would screw us over. No, it looks like it doesn't. Wave 18, we're starting to struggle because uh, Mystery RNG is so fun. So I gotta place down some enforcers way over here. Wave 20, molten guys are coming on in. Uh, they have 100 health each. They're gonna die. I maxed out all my farms and I can't place any more because it's tower limit lol. But on wave 21, I'm doing really good so far. I am gonna start placing down support though as well as a uh, DJ. So I'm gonna place it right there, I guess. In Fortress, I mean, Wardens now get bonus range and also fire rate. I already maxed out my DJ and uh, yeah, that discount thing is gonna help a lot. Wave 22 slow boss is already in, but I have Call of Arms, so we'll see how this turns out. I did upgrade my Warden to level 3, and wow, look at that. It is just getting stun locked. And whoa. Even without the Call of Arms, it just gets stun locked. It is so useless. Now, at the max level, comparing the towers side by side, you can see why I say that it, they pretty much copied. Uh, tower balls with that sort of design and we've got our first hidden boss wave 24 um i now have two max out wardens and that's basically yeah they yep dead placing in my third warden i now have three max wardens on wave 25 <laughs> and, uh I'm, I'm doing good dude there's there's no need to struggle now i am gonna start placing out wardens over here just to speed up spawn killing shockers on wave 26 these shouldn't matter. Wave 30, I max out my commander, and we're pretty gonna have Speedy Boss, or rather, uh, Boss 3 come in. Yeah, there he goes, Speedy Boss. Uh, I didn't even need to do the Call of Arms, he died. Wave 32, we have the uh, Mystery Bosses now. Uh, I think it's similar in Tar Balls, it's called Mystery 2. TDS does, does the exact same thing. <laughs> Wave 34, at this point, we are basically spawn killing. Mystery Summoner dies. <laughs> 0.11 of the dumbass not speeding up. So much for being speedy, boss. Am I right, guys? Laugh now, please. Yeah, this Mr. Seminar sucks. Goddamn. We'll do a call of orange to spawn kill even faster just to get to the last wave. Uh, we are now on wave 39, and uh, I need to start setting up wardens over here to, to prepare for the boss. Wave 39, Molten Titans have spawned in. Uh, they do not get stunned, but doesn't uh, matter too much. Okay, last wave. Time to sell my farms and place on a bunch of wardens. I don't even care to place them in the back, to be honest. I mean, this is a fine spawn point. It's not a big deal because wardens are stun proof as well with their uh, shields. Uh, do the call of arms for the commander. And I think I, I'm actually going to kill the molten boss. I don't think I'm going to have an issue with that. And. Dodge, just like Tower Brow. awesome. Well, uh, that was pretty easy with the warden. To be fair, I didn't do Fallen, uh, 
because I'm not sure they're the same difficulty as tower brawls. But now it's time for tower brawls. Man, loading into this game is like uh, playing on a graveyard. Ah, uh, good times, uh, good times. Wow, tower brawls has uh, improved, I, I think. What an absolute classic of a map. And Forza here is a bit cheaper, and the upgrades are different, but they're still generally the same exact idea they have. Normals have the exact same health like in TGS, but Enforcer doesn't actually one shot them. He has to take two shots. That's a fat ass L. Already on wave three, I'm struggling because we're, we're going to lose some health already. I could increase the damage or you could just buy a brand new one for a way cheaper cost. What a stupid ass <laughs> How how did I still miss? I, I put dude, you miss you missing a tire full speedy. What the hell are you doing? Well, already Enforcer is struggling a lot more than the goddamn warden. I am losing health already. So another enforcer, I guess. The slows are coming in. I don't think they're gonna be that much of an issue just because well they're slow. Just spamming more enforcers should do the trick. I finally upgraded my enforcer on wave seven to increasing damage. On wave eight, there's the uh, first boss. Okay, now the boss one's finally being locked on. God damn. And it does terrible. I'll we'll have to increase damage on this one. Wave two, we got some hidden boys. I just realized he has used the exact same name. God damn, they are so lazy. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be enough stealth detection. It's struggling a bit. <sighs> it's okay, we, we only lost four health from that. It's okay. Wave 11, two boss ones. The first one survived with 12 health. Wow, these uh, are punching through pretty hard. And I still need to focus on farming, so I can't really invest too much into wardens. I gotta find a perfect balance. I got the uh, stun effect, and it sucks because, well, it doesn't really stun. I mean, sure, it does stun like a cool sound, but it doesn't actually do anything. Come on, level one enforcer, beat him down. Beat him down. The earlier boss ones are arriving in. Uh, yeah, I want to lose a chunk. Thankfully, no boss one spawned in that mystery. Holy hell. Wave 16. So far, I'm picking up my farms. I got a decent amount of farms. I am going to place down DJ, which has an absurd range for uh, level 1. So that did increase the fire rate. The next one will be Commander. Cool thing in GB is that Commander in this game will actually increase the range of your towers. Uh... It doesn't get the range. Here you go. Planner is my feedback on now, you dumbass. Well, without the range, this is gonna... We are gonna struggle so much more than we need to. Because the range is already so goddamn small, so... Placing them on the side like, like this sucks because the, 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 the amount of range you get just sucks. Can we at least stun lock the boss too? Like, you know, how are you doing? No, dude. The, the stunning isn't doing anything. Please, come on. It's doing absolutely nothing. The hell, man? This, this dude's just idiot. He is idiot. How is this fair? The hell's the point of stunning if it doesn't stun anything for bigger than a bus one? What a moronic stunning future. No wonder why TTS killed this game. You survive at 580 health. I'm going to my commander though to have more fire rate. I do want the color arm soon. It doesn't even stun the boss ones. I mean, it stuns these guys, but not the boss one. What a, what an absolute useless stunning thing. Boss 2, just slowly creeping with a lot of health left still. Wave 19, we got Molten's, or rather Lavas, <laughs> in this game. They do get stunned, which is great news. The bad news is that there's a lot of them. I think now will be a good time to do that Call of Arms thing. Yeah, they are now going to work. I maxed out my first Enforcer. Um, this does stun longer, but it doesn't increase the strength, so it's still very worthless on boss ones. I got a level 4 down here. It is such a waste because he's not going to see much much action, but I but, but I had to. Up next is, is the uh, stealth boss. Um, I'm not sure we're going to beat that. Uh, boss 2 is dying pretty fast. We're going to do the Call of Arms and... Okay, he does get stunned, so that's great news, so hidden bosses aren't really going to work on us very well. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, my DJ is pretty much maxed out. Just need one more stage. I really care for the uh, discount we get now. Oh, some toxic guys now. Oh, that's annoying. Did, did he just stun my tower? I, I, I think he stuns your towers when he dies. That's really got him annoying. In TS, it doesn't get stunned, but in this game, it does. So hidden boss are just punching through because of these stupid toxic guys. God, this game sucks. 
I have to now invest in the stealth detection. I actually have to max out these two goddamn enforcers down here, dude. Come on, enforcer. Don't fell on me, please. Come on, enforcer. Yes, kill the hidden boss. Yes, we got it. God damn it! I think slime stun too, I'm not sure. Lightnings, they get nae for the most part. I just gotta keep placing out more enforcers, get an APC out, cause the mystery twos are gonna be annoying. APC down! Wow, those goos have a lot of health. Shouldn't be an issue, cause max enforcers, come on now. Nice. Huge boss, wait through one. Unfortunately, I'm gonna need to start selling farms. I need to start killing off my economy just to get by, cause this is... Uh, the time limit is just too much. That's really annoying. I'm gonna place down two commanders though, so we get that call of arms, plus more APC spam. Boss 3D, which is pretty much the equivalent of speedy boss in a tower defense layer. I'm not actually sure we can kill that. The strikers will help, but they're not gonna be enough, I think, in the long run. Yeah, I'm gonna start needing to spread them out, probably. That'd be a great choice. You just call arms, call in APCs, max out. For the uh, airstrike, I think I'm gonna start using the airstrikes in the boss threes. Not sure about this one over here. Another issue I'm running into is that enforcers just simply take up too much space, so I can't really place down a lot of towers. That wouldn't really be an issue had the range been bigger, but it's not bigger. It it it, it does really suck. That has a lot of uh boss fours. Okay, this is starting to get uh pretty much impossible. I don't know if I can do this. I do have another commander over here to help uh, aid us in our dire time of need, but uh, I really don't think that's gonna be enough. Okay, we barely survived that. Wow, now for a huge boss. Now it's 35, I think it's that giant weird looking red dude. Um, Why, did he, why are you saying I was having a seizure, dude? Is that a new update planet, dude? <laughs> Now boss four will keep going on. Um, he should die though. I maxed my towers. Uh, I can't really sell anything else because I'll die if I do. I did finally max my DJ though, so we got the additional fire boost along with the dance, which I guess the dance is actually someone useful with enforcers. Here's what the uh, dance does, by the way. It'll make uh, zombies dance for a bit. Boss trees aren't affected as much, but at least they are stalled for a bit to help out the en enforcers a lot. No, there's four! The hell, dude, there's four of them! I don't even think the dance rave uh, will help us out Yeah, because boss four completely ignores that. That's so stupid. Okay, I think this is the part where we lose. Okay, not gonna lie, I kind of forgot about boss three spam over here. Uh, yeah. Uh, they should die though, it's fine, it's fine. There's the Necromancer boss. This one is actually harder to kill, I think. Uh, does it get affected by dance? Nope. Oh wait, it does. Why does boss forward not, but this boss dude does? Uh, boss forward's looking pretty dangerous right there. Wait, uh, okay, we don't need to do that. Strik Shrucker's got that taken care of, it's fine, it's fine. But now we have to worry about the Necro boss himself. Uh, Necromancer virus still has 6,000 health, damn it! We still got a lot more stuff to clear out, dude! Dance thing. Stall the boss threes for a bit. Buy us some more time. Oh, because Strikers are dying! Strikers are dying! I gotta kill these four! Why do you have 700 health? What the hell is that balance? What is this balance? We are gonna die. We are gonna die, dude. We, we didn't survive that long. And I die for one of those weird fire things. Well, guys, it is safe to say that uh, Enforcer sucks.